อาอ่ะไม่ให้เขาเคยแปลเป็นมันสามารถเคยแปลเป็นพอพอยได้แต่มันคือเขาบัวที่จะเทคกับที่รูปแบบที่เขาบอกว่ามันเขียนใช่ไหมคือเขาจะ
Ka. Good morning, distinguished guests and participants. Welcome again to the second day of the third arcade International Symposium of 2019. Likewise, we will be featuring with honorary speakers distinct in different aspects. Shortly, we will be starting with the first speaker of today. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce Professor Pan Tan Bin, Rector of College of Art, Wei University from Vietnam to deliver the first session of today in the title of The Art of Handicraft of Vietnamese People in the Flow of History. ค่ะกราบสวัสดีทุกๆท่านและคณาจารย์นะคะเอ่อดิฉันนัทพงษ์หันยุทธ์นะคะเอ่อเป็นพิธีกรในวันนี้แล้วก็ขอยินดีต้
à, biết biết đọc hết đọc đọc hết dạ không không hiểu đọc hết dạ đọc đọc, đọc rồi anh đọc đi ừ, đọc uh, tiếng anh ừ. okay uh, so he wants me to just uh, read the English um, so um, early on uh, this um, woman um, an archaeologist found in Dom Noi caves um, in Vietnam and she um, started to record um, the archaeology of the site. So this is this is examples from the Dom Son era of uh, Vietnam around the fifth century, um, and this is a very important um, uh, part of early Vietnamese um, visual culture. Mm. So I don't understand that. Yeah, come here. So here's some examples of a small bell. Uh, it's handheld. Mm. No, sorry, uh, Mr. Disak. Uh, yeah, English is very good, but Vietnam is a language. <laughs> yeah. so uh, 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 normal. Um, sometimes uh, he, uh, sometimes uh, he help me. Now uh, I uh, continue by English. My, uh, uh, my English is not good. Um, I hope uh, you understand me. <laughs> Uh, this is a small bell. Uh, when uh, uh, when uh, people, every people uh, die, and a uh, bell on in here and uh, and uh, outside, and and uh, about uh, about um, five five thousand uh, years ago, five thousand years ago. Yep. So this is an example of one of the early Dom Son bronze um, drums. In Indonesia, yeah, yeah. So uh, you find evidence of this form um, that has passed from Vietnam, Thailand, and Indonesia. The style from Kak. So you, you'll see that in, um, in each of these cultures, the style is very similar. Okay, it's different from the, those found in China. Okay. Um, so a, a, as it says, um, there are many unique items um, from, from bronze, including this belt buckle um, and uh, cereal lamps. This is an example of the lamp. Mm. So they're, they're oil lamps that you handheld. Okay. So they also not only made um, um, utilitarian items, but they also did expressive items such as sculpture. Yeah. Um, and, and, and as it, as it reads, um, there's um, one of two people making love, and a mother toad carrying um, her baby toad. And um, they can also be used as musical instruments. 
triều đại nhà lý thì có rất nhiều về hình tượng đại gốm và cả cái tiêu đại tân có thêm nhiều tổ phật giáo trong so, the, so from two different dynasties um, these are ceramics um, the, the ceramic on um, Vietnam Nam or Mien in uh, Li uh, Li uh, dynasty Li dynasty some uh, yeah, yeah. some examples of sort of the decorative styles of the the Li dynasty stone um stone gom stone and ceramic from the Jun dynasty So examples of, of the ceramic it's of the many styles in, in this period. Um, and these are found in the, muse uh, the art museum. Um, the, it's the uh, Tan Lam, the, 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 the dragon um, terracotta pottery, and this style is very unique for, for Vietnam. Uh, yeah, so they're made by hand very long time ago. Mm -mm. Um, so it's, it's showing examples of, of this style from a long time ago. Okay, um, so this is... Okay, the first one is ceramic, uh, the second one is a print, and the, other, the last one is woodcut, or wood carving. Oh, oh sorry, not print, embroidery. So this is also from the Wing Dynasty. Um, it's made out of uh, uh, metal. This is um, uh, uh, in uh, Hue. Uh oh, he says that uh, silicon artists have been to this site before. Uh, these are some examples also in, in the museum in Hue. So, um, which include um, examples of, of shoes, size. Mm. So they preserve some of um, some clothing and items as well. Mm. Um, some embroidered um, robes. theo cái phục trang của nhà vua à của cả, cả công chúa và vua cả bà hoàng bà hoàng hậu nam phương the name and, um, okay. and the names of the uh, people that are wearing the clothes và um, thì cái này hiện nay cũng đang rất là quý ở Việt Nam cho thấy cái nghề nhân của nghề này có rất nhiều um, Embroidery is, is an important um, part of Vietnamese um, traditional uh, crafts. Um, 
lóng 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 sang lóng sang là dương dương bố ngủ cái dương này bố ngủ anh kinh bát bát rung bát rung ok um, so um, I'm guessing this is um, examples of um, furniture from Lom Sang. Using gold, gold um, leafing. And, and using lacquer, um, red lacquer. Um, which is, um, um, which is um, an, an art form in Vietnam. Tôi muốn giới thiệu một cái loài đó là pháp lam tức là another one is um, enameling cái này có ở Thái Lan um, also have in Thailand không có Thái Lan đa số là người Trung Hoa ở Thái Lan làm cái này người người Tàu also in China Bức ảnh này là rất lâu rồi, vào năm 1937. Um, we're going on to the uh, Nguyễn Dynasty. À, và um, cho thấy rằng là nghề nhân của Việt Nam họ làm rất nhiều cái, cái, cái việc rất là tính xảo, làm nhiều cái việc đẹp trên cái này. Làm, họ làm được rất nhiều cái, cái nghệ thuật uh, mà có giá trị cao. Cao, cao. Không, nó giá, rất giá trị. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, um, another handicraft is um, making kites. Uh, oh, nice. there's, there's many types in Vietnam. Mm. Mm. Đây là nghệ thuật uh, chạm đến đá. Um, carving in stone. Um, hiện nay ở Huế uh, là có nhiều nhất ở Việt Nam. In Huế. Yeah. In, uh, these are examples found in Huế. Uh, có nhiều nhất nhiều ở Việt Nam. Uh, there's many, there's many in uh, Vietnam. Uh, và uh, và cái, cái, cái sự tính xảo cái nghệ thuật này nó còn thấy là uh, đưa được đưa vào trong cung đình. Pudding. I don't remember the translation for Kuding. Also examples that we saw before, also uh, enameling uh, and uh, gold leafing on lacquer. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, it, the, uh, gold throne. Còn đây là nghệ thuật khảm sắc cư. Mm. Mm. Also, um, enameling, um, nicker. Mm. Và cuối cùng thì tôi giới thiệu về tranh dân gian Việt Nam. Print in? Tranh dân gian. Folk uh, painting. Folk painting? Yeah. In Việt Nam. Folk painting in Việt Nam, uh, everywhere in Việt Nam. And, uh, and near near Saigon, mm -hmm. uh, in Huế, in uh, Đông Hồ, uh, Provence, in uh, Hang Trống, in Hà Nội, uh, and uh, um, Nghệ An. You, you'll see a lot of these types of um, works in Saigon. Um, it's called Đông Hồ Painting, um, and it's painted on um, a rice paper. Oh, here's, here's examples. Here's some examples. Anh giải thích tranh này này. Tranh này là thế này này. Tranh bịt mắt bắt dê biểu. Bịt mắt để bắt con dê này. Nhưng mà bịt mắt thì họ phải đeo. Họ không bắt dê mà họ đeo hai cái chuông. Nữ đeo một cái chuông. Đeo. So it's showing it's showing a game that that that's play a traditional game where they're blindfolded. Con dê đây. And they and they try to catch the goat. Bức tranh này cho thấy là cái nghề chằm uh, they, also, they, they also do these um, by um, by carving the uh, original in a wood block and then and then printing them. 
năm nó được lưu giữ 400 năm nay rồi. Ừ, 400 năm. 400. Um, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, Um, also, um, originally from a wood, wood block print by chipping into wood. Còn đây là Fokker painting in Huế, in Sin Village, in Huế, about about nine kilometers from Huế. Chắc cái này ta nói rồi. Yep. Còn đây là một số công cụ của người nghệ nhân khi đục. So showing some of the tools that, that, that they use for the uh, wood block cuts. Đây là một số nghệ sĩ Thái Lan đến Huế và cũng có làm tham gia làm tranh dân gian. So um, some some artists from Huế, um, from Thailand have come to Huế and also worked in this in this form. Yeah, Dr. Namun Mahidon Jubuti and Mr. Bisit Mahasarakam and Chiang Mai, Guti. Oh, difficult for me. <laughs> Good for me too. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Come on. Thank you very much, Professor Phan Thanh Bin. Next. I would like to present our internationally and nationally renowned Thai artist, Mr. Kamin Le Chai Prasad, to deliver his keynote, 31 Century Museum of Contemporary Spirit in Sharjah 2019. Perception itself is action. Please welcome Mr. Kamin. Okay, thank you. Uh, so, uh, hello. Uh, thank you for everything, uh, especially uh, Arcade and Silvercon University that uh, invite me to be part of a conference. Um, the subject about what exhibit society, exhibit humanity. So uh, the first time when I was invited, and I think a lot about how to present this, and I come up with the idea of uh, recently work that I working with uh, Saja by by Anil. Uh, the topic about leaving the echo chamber, and I think this is the main topic of uh, our society problem, that we are stuck in our chamber, and like uh, our cell. So every information every we get is like uh, make 
make us become us, you know. And then we never have a chance or look beyond that or have some awareness of what's going on with a neighbor or with another surrounding around us. And I think this topic makes me feel uh, go to the essence of the problem of our society. How can we go out of our echo chamber? So, and today I want to present about how we can go out echo chamber. And that is mean uh, we go beyond our self awareness, uh, our self centric. So, and I come up with the idea of uh, LQ, love quotient. So, I think our world is developing by IQ, that intellectual quotient. And so, until now, we create a lot of technology and a lot of knowledge surrounding uh, our society, this generation. But we are still have a lacking of uh, emotional uh, awareness of another emotion, uh, abstract. Uh, that's why we, now we are concerned with about EQ, like uh, emotion quotient. But we still have uh, many things, uh, problems still uh, not solved. So, and my idea is, I think, is uh, whatever we have, um, uh, the more we have, IQ or EQ, we, we still lack of uh, self-centric, you know, we still uh, need something uh, return or resolve. So the idea of LQ is like a love quotient, it's like, a, I try to explain, it's difficult uh, concept to explain now. So I want you to see the video first and then I can explain after the video what is love quarter mean and how we can exhibit society and exhibit humanity after that, okay? Please get some information at the same idea what we have and then we can discuss later. This project about 31st century museum of contemporary spirit. Much of the art world focuses only on the final destination, i.e. the final artwork. But in actuality, the journey to that final object is immense. full title of my exhibition is Leaving the Echo Chamber, Journey Beyond the Arrow. Journey Beyond the Arrow looks at artists' practice as the bow. We can't launch an arrow without a bow. And for me, artistic practice, in its process, has an incredible amount of material in there deserving more understanding. In my opinion, I think that the art is the process of understanding the life and the culture. The art is the process of building a world. And the culture is not in the culture or the product. แต่มันอยู่ที่กระบวนการในการเรียนรู้ข้อจำกัดของสิ่งต่างๆแล้วก็พยายามค้นพบสิ่งใหม่The chamber that we live in today has incredibly few surfaces for the echo to bounce. We live in a world where a culture of like exists. We go to Facebook, we click like, and the algorithms of the program feed you only what you like. We also exist in uh, an environment where 
governments increasingly are authoritarian, where dominant views must speak for a presumed collective whole. And there is an increasing rise of fear towards difference, cultural difference, religious difference, economic difference. We don't know what we like unless we've experienced what we dislike. Like we don't understand what is presumed good if we don't have an idea of what we presume bad we can't understand the ethical parameters of human living unless we understand the full scope. ผมก็พยายามจะทําความเข้าใจว่าเออและ 3 สิ่งที่เค้ามีอยู่ในตัวเองก็คือที่เราพูดก็คือความรักความเมตตาหรือความดีงามที่มนุษย์มีตั้งแต่เกิดสิ่งเหล่านี้ที่ผมจะพาไ
so he like this for Carmen Lutz have a third everyone have one good thing in them heart กลับมาที่3เนี่ยเชิญยุ้ยก็คือโปรเจกต์ของผมก็คือการที่จะทำกิจกรรมตัวนี้เพื่อให้ทุกคนเนี่ยกระตุ้นถึงความรู้สึกว่าตัวเองเนี่ยมีคุณค่ามีความรักความเมตตาอยู่ในตัวเองอยู่แล้วโดยที่เราไม่ได้ไปหามันมาใหม่แต่เราหลงลืมมันไปวันที่ผมมาบรรยายที่พ่อช่างวันแรกเนี่ยแล้วผมมีโอกาสไปเห็นภาพโปสเตอร์อันหนึ่งผมก็เลยสงสัยว่ารูปนี้เป็นรูปอะไรอันนี้คือเหรียญอะไรเขาก็อธิบายว่าเป็นเหรียญอาจารย์ปัญญาซึ่งแกเนี่ยเป็นครูสอนที่นี่แต่เสียไปแล้วแล้วผมว่าแล้วแกสําคัญยังไงทําไมต้องมีเหรียญให้แกอย่างเงี้ยเด็กก็เลยอธิบายว่าเพราะว่าแกเนี่ยเป็นคนที่ทุกคนรักถามว่าทําไมเขาบอกว่าคนนี้เป็นคนมีจิตใจดีมากเพราะว่าแกชอบช่วยเหลือเด็กที่มาเรียนและยากจนไม่มีข้าวจะกินถึงขนาดไปบอกร้านอาหารในโรงเรียนบอกว่าถ้าเด็กคนไหนไม่มีตังค์ซื้อเนี่ยให้ไปกินฟรีแล้วจดชื่อเขาไว้แล้วเขาจะมาจ่ายทุกสิ้นเดือนเขาทําอย่างเงี้ยเป็น10บสปีตั้งแต่เขาสอนนะคือส่วนมากเนี่ยเราอยากจะเป็นศิลปินอยากมีชื่อเสียงอยากขายรูปแพงๆอยากอะไรคือคือมีแต่ความเห็นแก่ตัวทั้งนั้นเลยแต่คนนี้บอกว่าผมไม่อยากเป็นศิลปินถ้าผมเป็นแล้วใครจะสอนพวกคุณคํานี้โดนใจผมมากและนี่คืออยู่หลังด้านหลังเหรียญอันนี้แล้วผมก็เลยอยากได้เหรียญอันนี้มาโชว์มีน้องศิลปินคนหนึ่งฮะเขามีอาชีพคือเขาเขียนเสื้อช็อปให้กับพวกโรงเรียนอาชีวะโรงเรียนช่างต่างๆที่นับถือพระวิษณุเนี่ยค่อนข้างเอกเกรสิฟหน่อยแบบรุนแรงแล้วเขาก็เขียนให้ลูกค้าคนหนึ่งที่เป็นนักศึกษาช่างกดแล้วเขาก็ใส่แล้วก็โดนยิงตายมันทําให้ผมรู้สึกว่าผมตระหนักกับสิ่งสิ่งนี้เป็นเรื่องของการยั่วยุหรือว่าต้นเหตุสาเหตุที่เราเป็นคนทําให้ทําให้เขาเสียชีวิตในครั้งนั้นมันก็เลยทําให้ผมรู้สึกว่าเราต้องทำอะไรบางอย่างหรือว่าเปลี่ยนแปลงอะไรบางอย่างก็เลยมองเห็นคุณค่าบางอย่างของเพนติ้งของการทำงานที่ผมทำอยู่ครับสร้างความงามสร้างศิลปะให้มันอยู่ตรงนั้นเพื่อที่จะให้คุณค่าของเสื้อเนี่ยมันอยู่ในขอบเขตของความศรัทธาขอบเขตของความเชื่อบางอย่างที่ที่มากกว่าการเอาไปใส่เพื่ออวดกันเพื่อทำร้ายกันประมาณนี้ครับเขาไปซื้อเสื้อกาวหมอสีขาวแล้วก็มาเขียนพระพิษณุใหม่มีดอกไม้มีอะไรคือทุกชิ้นเนี่ยดีหมดเนาะแต่ชิ้นเนี่ยที่มันต่างคือว่ามันเกิดขึ้นจากสิ่งที่ผิดพลาดของเขาแล้วทําให้เขารู้สึกว่าเขาอยากแก้ตัวและอยากทําอะไรที่โดยใช้ศิลปะเนี่ยมาแบ่งปันความความรักความเมตตามากกว่าการสร้างความเกลียดชังซึ่งเขาเคยทําเพื่อเงินอย่างเดียวแล้วก็ทําตามออเดอร์คนสั่งเขาซึ่งตรงนี้ซึ่งมันไม่ไม่ไม่ได้เกิดขึ้นบ่อยผมบอกได้เลยว่าหลังจากมาสัมมนาหลายครั้งได้ฟังเรื่องเล่าของน้องๆน,นักศึกษาเนี่ยมันทำให้ผมมองเห็นรายละเอียดของการมีชีวิตอยู่สิ่งที่เราคิดว่ามันเป็นเรื่องเล็กๆน้อยๆนะแต่จริงๆแล้วพลังเล็กๆน้อยๆอย่างเนี้ยมันเป็นพลังที่ทำให้โลกมันน่าอยู่แล้วผมคิดว่าสิ่งนี้คือสิ่งสำคัญเกี่ยวกับโปรเจกต์นี้สามเอเซนจูวีมิวเซียมก็คือตัวนี้แหละคือมิวเซียมคือร่างกายและชีวิตของแต่ละคนและจิตวิญญาณก็คือความรู้ผมชอบใช้คำว่า spirit is art ก็คือความฉลาดทางด้านจิตวิญญาณก็คือความรักเลอร์โพเทนความฉลาดในเรื่องของความรักนี่แหละที่มันคืองานศิลปะไม่ใช่ออบเจกต์อันนี้คือหัวใจที่ผมพยายามจะดีเวล็อปตัวนี้ด้วยกระบวนการหรือรูปแบบหรือกิจกรรมต่างๆ
คือที่ผมพูดถึง LQ เนี่ยมันก็มาจากโลกใบนี้มันพัฒนามาเยอะใช่ไหมสิ่งที่มันถูกเจริญก้าวหน้าเนี่ยมันถูกพัฒนามาจากปัญญาของมนุษย์ซึ่งเราใช้คําว่า IQ นะเป็นความฉลาดทางปัญญาเนี่ยคือทุกอย่างเนี่ยมันทําให้รู้สึกเป็น material เป็นเรื่องวัตถุเรื่องผลประโยชน์เรื่องอะไรทําให้เราขาดความสัมพันธ์แล้วหรือการคิดถึงคนอื่นเราก็เลยมาสนใจกันเรื่อง EQ เนี่ยการฉลาดทางอารมณ์การเข้าใจตัวเองเข้าใจคนอื่นแต่ขณะเดียวกันเนี่ยผมรู้สึกว่าไอ้ EQ ตัวนี้มันก็ยังเป็นการคาดหวังถ้าเราเข้าใจคุณแล้วคุณไม่เข้าใจผมเนี่ยผมก็จะไม่รักคุณใช่ไหมจะมันยังต้องการความการตอบแทนทางอารมณ์อยู่แต่ LQ ในสิ่งที่ผมพูดเนี่ยมันเหมือนเป็นการที่เข้าใจสัจธรรมแล้วก็ไม่ได้คาดหวังผลในการตอบแทนเมื่อไหร่ที่เราเข้ามาถึงสภาวะการเข้าใจตรงนี้การใช้ชีวิตที่เหลือมันจะมีความสุขมันเป็นประสบการณ์ของแต่ละคนที่เฝ้าดูตัวเองจนถึงที่สุดและเข้าใจการทํางานของจิตตัวเองสิ่งที่มันเกิดขึ้นหลังจากนั้นเนี่ยมันถึงเกิดโดยธรรมชาติมีเจตนาหรือมีการกระทําผลและเหตุเหตุและผลโดยที่ไม่มีการกําหนดว่าต้องมีผลประโยชน์เป็นตัวเราซึ่งตรงนี้สําหรับผมเนี่ยมันเป็นการเปลี่ยนแปลงที่แท้จริงภายในเราแต่ละคนอันนี้คือ living echo chamber จริงๆโซ่ the video is more about kind kind of I give you the information how 31st century museum start and what I focus on the project of LQ. So this is the workshop after at the Saja Art Biennial last January. So we make a workshop about LQ, like uh, ask everyone to share their experience about LQ. So I explain them what LQ means, and then everyone share their story. And the exhibition is about uh, some artwork from a uh, project in Bangkok, cooperate with Po Chang University, and on the right hand of the image, this is about the story of, of participants. And then we make ebook. So you can visit the website and the story of the pa participant exists in this ebook. So it's a, you can scan this now and then you can go to the ebook. So the whole idea is about to make people to realize what LQ in themselves. So and for me is to to make perception uh, itself at the action, like uh, when we realize it, what is in us, and then you can uh, understand it. Uh, so my idea is uh, about LQ is uh, we refer to the idea of spiritual, intellectual, intelligent is universal. Love is love universally. Love is not your or nor mine. It is not personal. It is not uh, opposite side of head. Earth is Earth. It's not American uh, Earth or China Earth or Thailand Earth. The sun, sky, river, air belong to all of us. It's not your nor mine. It belong to everyone. As same as art and activity. It is not for your or mine, but for nature. So it, the idea of love quotient is not about uh, personal. It's more about universal. It's this kind of is al already within us. So to exhibit humanity and exhibit society, I believe we have to expand the concept of art or creation or creation like uh, at least we have to know what is life mean yeah? for me is life is about energy of love compassion 
LQ, you know. Uh, they are in all of us, in every present moment. And for me, art is the learning process to understand oneself, society, and nature. And art and life is one. And I always call life specific instead of sight, you know, but it's more about life. And self is uh, society, and on another hand, society is self. So it cannot be separate. It is beyond the personal experience uh, I call selfless, and beyond time is timeless. And for me, uh, when we talk about art or creative, we always uh, reference about uh, physical aesthetic. That is the old concept of aesthetic in art. So I would like to uh, present uh, the new idea about spiritual aesthetic. So the idea of is beyond visual aesthetic, you know, and that is my uh, definition. I, and I try to explain what is spiritual aesthetic mean. Is the virtual true beauty are already in us all by nature. We cannot un we can understand it with pure perception, without motive and direction or expectation, because pure perception is love and wisdom. So the rest of this, the second part, I will explain how I come up with this philosophy or the idea from my practice more than uh, 40 years. But I will focus on 31st century museum about. So the first time I was invited in uh, give a conference at How to Stumble City by Art Project at the uh, Kanasawa, 21st Century Museum in Japan. So we talk about how to make art to stimulate city. So and that is the come up with the idea of uh, they asked me to make the project about uh, how to stimulate city of Kanasawa. So they show me many uh, sites, important sites in Kanasawa, and I end up with uh, the like uh, kindergarten school, no, high school. Like uh, he's the headmaster. And I really uh, impressed, maybe we see in video already, I try to make it short, okay? <laughs> because we have not made many time. So he's one of inspired me about the idea of uh, everyone have one good thing in themselves. He lighting the sophisticated for 500 kids and try to find one good thing. And that is really impressed me about uh, that is the starting point of, of 31st century museum idea of everyone have one good thing. And I invite all the people in Kanasawa to being one object that reference the positive energy or meaning behind the object. It's not about object represent the art object, but it's about intention behind of object. Example, this guy, he shoot the image of a photo of his father sent him the photo leaf, for, for leaf leaf. In Japan, they say it's uh, lucky. If you found this, it's lucky. And his father sent this image to him, and he keep this in the handphone. And when he have uh, working, and when he have some problem or, or, or feel down, and he look at this, and it's something cheer him up. And this is kind of personal support. And, and, and for me, this kind of energy uh, we don't call art. We never share this kind of personal value. And for our project, I want to collect this positive energy in our museum. We call it 31st Century Museum at the, at the uh, symbolic. Actually, the Leo Museum is our body. So and everyone get together and being the object. And we take a picture from the sky. And the human number is created. Three one, the idea of uh, symbolic of our body become uh, a museum. It's not about in institution at the building, you know. Now when we talking about museum, it's about in institution in the building. It's no no uh, life, you know. It's just, just the. So my idea is thirty first century. It will be our body. Everyone is become the museum. Everyone have their own spirit, their own history. So this is, we are all the same, and we are all unique. 
you know, we have DNA the same, but we're not the same. We look the same, but we're not the same. We have eye, nose, mouth, but the whole world, we never look the same, even the twin. So that is mean we are unique. So our body, it become our museum. And we have our own experience. It become art form, you know. Uh, so and after I come up, I, I working with the, the idea of, I try to understand more about what is contemporary spirit mean. And I create the platform in Chiang Mai. So by container. And I collect all the experience and activity in this, you know. And in five year experimental, we open uh, one project I would like to focus about uh, creative sharing. We open call for everyone to, to share their experience. They, they can give a teaching course, anything. It can be cooking, uh, ceramic, painting, or whatever, music, and for free. And everyone can come to study for free. So it's like uh, we create the platform for exchange. So this is the die by some, uh, and this is, and, and ev everyone who visit the museum, we will interview them uh, about their ex uh, opinion about the world and what they, if they have one wish, what they want to share, you know. The idea of to collect this in the Facebook, I want to collect everyone have their own positive energy about this world. And everyone don't have to wait one government or one organization to change the world. Everyone can share what they want the world to be, you know. And I want to collect this uh, vibration. So in this project in Nikata, I working about 2010. They asked me to work about, uh, I, I make about history of Nikata. And Nikata is the, is the city, it has a lot of the nature disaster. So it's earthquake and you know many things. So and and people they they the land is the lower like a two meters lower than the water. So they they have to uh, if you see this map the old map. So they have to dig the land here by human to create the river to make the water from from the river come to the sea. So and then he make. They make the dam, more than 40 dam allow the city and pump the water out every other time. So, and one is really impressed me about, they dig the water, river under the river. So this is the Leo River, the original one, and this is the new one. So they, they dig the, the river, under the river, and then they make the bridge before it's, it's used the, the old wood beast, about 200 years, about, uh, I'm not sure exactly. So in this kind of uh, social engagement, you know, and the way they solve the problem to concern about the, I think they concern about the fish, maybe Simon, to go back to, to lay the, the egg. So that's why they keep the liver the same. So for, for this kind of spontaneous and this kind of response, social or nature. So I feel this is, is really creative and more, more important and maybe creative more than art object, uh, art, art project. So, but it's, it's social, but it's more real. So I ask people to share their memory about what is the uh, favorite, favorite memory when they are shy. So he share about when he's shy, Children, he, he memory about rolling the boat, and then we go back. That river is become the super highway. Forty year after, so we make a interview three hundred sixty five people and make a history book of Nikata. So and this is one project and another project. I working with the student from uh, Chicago. Art Institute of Chicago master program to make it a laboratory of, uh, of contemporary spirit in Chicago. And then uh, they asked me about what, what about contemporary spirit mean. And actually, I don't know 
at that time, I don't know what it means. You know, until that night, I met two ladies. I walked back from the meeting and dinner. I met two ladies, they lighting the, the side, have a great night, and share uh, to me. I walked past to it, and I was kind of surprised why they, who are they talking with. And I look surrounding and nobody, and they talk with me, and I come back and interview them. So and I feel this kind of moment is like a, uh, sorry, I lost my, it's like a, I call lady made culture. This kind of small uh, challenge, you know. And Ken Dan, he's uh, working like uh, with homeless, and then they act the the state to use the empty land in the city of Chicago and develop uh, the land to be an agriculture farm with the homeless to create the job and food, and I visit it. So, and this is the Dorchester project. They make, so I will not talk everything, so. So I go back to art at Marcel Duchamp. They make about ready-made object that everyone know, I think. And to create ordinary object, it become art. It become art because of the intention and the idea. So I try to compare. This is ready-made culture. It already exists in our culture surrounding us, but we never concern it at the art or creative. We think it's nothing, it's just something challenging, happiness or whatever. So our uh, boys, they make a plan at Documenta 7. Uh, plan the, the oak is uh, 1987. So this is a social sculpture or clean the street, uh, Karl Marx Street. So our Jeff Kuhn, a uh, pseudo event, uh, make love in heaven with uh, his wife and is being it a uh, question about life and art, you know. Or uh, my friend, he's a co-founder of my f the Land Foundation, Liquid. So he's cooking. So it's like uh, other land project. He's my co-founder. So the whole world about art is developing from aesthetic, of visual aesthetic or developing to become a branding between life and art, and we cannot separate between what is life, what is art. So, and this is the project I made uh, in 2008, the Land Foundation with Liquid. Oh, now, even Muhammad Lunuf, he uh, Sorry, I see the sign and lost. <laughs> Uh, he got the Nobel Prize about, uh, about economic. So he created the Gami Bank. It's like a bank for poor, you know. It's like a most, um, normally the bank, when you want to loan some money, you have some uh, deposit, uh, some uh, view, right? Oh, shit. Yeah, but for for his create the the bank for poor people, you know, you you don't have some uh, like a, you you own the bank because if you really poor, you have no money, uh, no no some what they call wealth, right? Like a, you have the land to deposit and then you loan the money. But if you really poor, you don't have any goods to. To, to that, yeah. So, and he created, like if you want to loan, you just use buy wood, you know, buy, you are at harness. So, and I think I should finish it. So, for my conclusion is, we cannot change the world. We cannot change another, we cannot change ourselves. Virtual true beauty are in us all we do not have to change, just be awakened. So my idea is art is everything already 
but you are empty enough to see it or not in your everyday life, you know. So I think every nature is already have their own beauty, you know. So, but we, we are busy and we have not enough, empty enough to, to see it at, at, the, uh, you know, at the beauty at the uh. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kamin, for just um, engaging keynote, and I wish we had more time. Next, I would like to present you Professor Yusaku Imamura, from, uh, Global Art Practice from Graduate Schools of Fine Art, Tokyo University of the Arts, Japan, to deliver you the keynote in the title of Multi-Perspective and Focusing Soil. Creativity with a four, society and humanity. Please welcome Mr. Yusaku.
um, that wait, wait, can you? Shusakarakawa and Manning Gint completed a work called the Site of Reversible Destiny Euro. This project was a great turning point for Arakawa, who was already recognized as a world leading artist in abstract painting, uh, such as diagram and blueprint, as this was his first attempt to actually construct a large scale architectural work departing from painting. I participated this project from the initial planning stage and was in charge of the concept development and actual construction design. In a sense, Arakawa and Gin's experiment at Yoro gave a concrete form to Nishida's thought. It created a mechanism for the moment and the place where the self can be born. Through the experience, the place became no longer an external place given by someone, but transfigures as a part of oneself. Historically, no building were constructed aiming at such a mechanism, and at the time of this completion, uh, many architects and critics uh, ridiculed it as a Disneyland and did not accept the original meaning of building. In a sense, it was about the traditional architectural context, and therefore, they refused to treat it as architecture. But yet, regardless, of these critiques by expert, and despite arcane question by artists, the work was attracted many people since it's open. It is not easy to find out the why it's so popular, but it is very worth nothing. Uh, we're noting that the experience in a site of reversible destiny, as Araka Gins intended, had somewhat evoked feelings, nostalgia in biz uh, to the visitor's mind. In our childhood, every one of us put ourselves in an environment and built a relationship with the world. Perhaps visitors associate the experience of the site of reversible destiny with the memory of such self-formation process somewhere in their consciousness. Arakawa and Gins uh, attempt to create that uh, kind of place is rooted uh, in their manifesto, not to die with which they pointed out that even though people are physically alive, 
they are mentally dead by sticking to fixed idea and forms. They refuse to live like that. Paired with their iconic work, The Mechanism of Meaning, this manifesto, Not to Die, attracted the attention of many scientists at the time. Arakawa Gins were invited to many conferences and meetings to have dialogue with them. After Yoro, Arakawa uh, completed the House of Reversible Destiny Mitaka, often visited Japan to give lectures and discuss with people at the university. In many of his lectures, Arakawa emphasized that what he was creating was something that human beings had to work on. Arakawa said, Modern science has gone wrong. We have to think about what we are, what we can't say, what we can't see, and find them. But instead, we have only pursued what we can see. These words uh, remind me uh, those of Marcel Duchamp, uh, the father of contemporary art, uh, as also come in, you know, the pointed out, who was also the mentor of Arca in New York City. Duchamp says, from too great an importance given to the retinal. Before paintings had other functions, it could be religious, philosophical, and moral. Our whole century is completely retinal. In an interview in 1966, in his later year, Duchamp lamented that paintings after Courbet had become a retina or a merely visual. Since the modern era, art has posed many questions uh, to the present world. And now, art is beginning to explore history, to tackle social problems, and to take a new scientific approach, in a sense. In 1983, Joseph Boyce said, art is for me the science of freedom. Hannah Arendt mentioned the importance of thing, man-made. We make things as home favor. Uh, social system is one of the things we make. Human life, in so far as it is actively engaged in doing something, is always rooted the world of man and man-made things, which is never leaves or altogether transcend. Its object, things, character, and the human condition supplement each other because human existence is condi conditioned existence it would be impossible without things. Using the works of Thoughts of Arakawa Gins, an example, I would like to present the idea of art is a new science. This discussion will look at the place, platform, and institution that make such attempt possible. Hiroshi Ichikawa, a Japanese philosopher and close friend of Arakawa, said that all cultural apparatus Uh, including cities, society, and history, are created from between. It, Ichikawa's between stands for an infinitely complex system, an intricate compound of various dimensions, or vibrant, vibrating amplexe in French, because uh, Paul Valéry said, uh, you know, amplexe, uh, it means uh, implex. Instead of divided thoughts of language, body, and perception, it resonates, avoids centralization and simpli simplification, and try to maintain the movement of thought by staying in the middle. This is equivalent to the continuous movement of perception, thought, under the pressure of being dangled in the midair that Araka expressed in Euro. However, where is the real world can such a place to practice science of humanity? In fact, art is a place that makes this experiment possible. How can such a place of art be secured? In a sense, creating such a place in a social system means creating kind of positive utopia. Utopia is apt to be associated with a romantic-like idealism, but utopia is a criticism, not mere admiration. Utopia exists in a process, and the process itself, the bills it must be created. I was appointed to the uh, counselor on special issue to the governor of Tokyo Metro the government and served this position to supervise the culture of Tokyo since 2001 to 2013. During the 13 years of my tenure, uh, cultural polic policies of Tokyo produced many results, and even today, cultural policies of Tokyo are mostly based on what I did. 
The philosophy that I relied on when I, as an architect, was involved the creation of cultural policy, which is a social system, was philosophy I learned through the work I had done with Araka and Gins. Art is a new science. To position this philosophy in a social system was an important task. And an architect not only designed actual building, but also designed social systems, the creation of plaza and road in a space in one of the architect's role. The Tokyo Metropolitan Ordinance of Promotion of Culture was issued in 1983 which lies the foundations of Tokyo culture policies with the earliest cultural ordinance enacted by Japanese local government. Unfortunately, although the ordinance was enacted, the cultural policy was yet to be established. As the purpose of ordinance was described, it is only pointed out the importance of culture and decided to take measure against it. Before I took up the post, the cultural policies of Tokyo, Mr. with the government, followed the trend and no concrete policies based on the ordinance were formulated. The main activity of the policy during the period was the provision of subsidies to project organizer to keep tickets low so that citizens could go to performance and exhibition. Moreover, this support was an opaque and incomplete system because it was operated without the process of selection and evaluation by expert. Today, it is difficult to imagine what Tokyo was like in the year of 2001 when I started to work on. When I took up the post, the special advisor, however, it was the middle of the lost decade of Japan, which was triggered by collapse of bubble economy in 1992. Tokyo Metropolitan Government itself was in danger of falling into the category of fiscal reconstruction organization. To avoid the bankruptcy, Tokyo Metropolitan Government reviewed the project, slashed the ballooning budget in the area of arts and culture as well. So Tokyo Metropolitan Government found urgent need to change its policy and large budget cuts, organizational changes were made. It was obviously difficult to come up with a new direction of policy for arts and culture under such a circumstance. At the same time, it would not have been easy to change 20 years of policies and practice in the Bureau of Citizens of Culture Affairs, which was established in 1980 to deal with culture and international culture exchange in a bureaucratic system that follows precedent and custom. Therefore, I, instead of changing major cultural policies as a counselor, in the beginning, I decided to take in full advantage of serving simultaneously as a director of an art center, which was a part of the organization of Tokyo Met of the Government to develop pilot program by art center, put it into practice, evaluate it after the project, so that this could be later reflected in major policies. The first step was identify the direction and goal to be achieved by the art center, Tokyo Wonder Site. They can be sum, uh, summarized in following abstract, but simple three words as like metaphor. Ground, axis, and window. Ground is literally earth and land. In order to build something, it is essential to create solid foundation and land. On an unstable damp land, building tilt quickly. At the same time, it is also means a common horizon. Tokyo's cultural policies up to until then had no mission, strategy, core project, timelines, so it could be compared to unsteady dampland. In a sense that I emphasize the importance of creating ground at the time cultural institutions in Japan had not yet clear clearly articulated their mission and strategies, but Wondersai decided to articulate five missions. After nurturing the ground, I decided to lay out the foundation that is to be based in its use. The basic axis can be also understood as like tree trunk. Policies must have backbone. Without it, there are only branches and leaves that scatter around. The creation of such core can bring existing policies together. Figuratively speaking, it is like putting up a big wooden pillar on firm ground. The cornerstone of the Wonder Side is support for young artists, peer-to-peer -peer international exchange, 
exchange and support for experimental attempt. Window is what enable us to view a scenery and also place where the wind passes. The art and culture of Tokyo will form a view and also create a window in a sense that the window passes through. These three keywords were set as an ideal for the new cultural policy of Tokyo. Tokyo Wonderside, while being a public institution run by city government, was also an experiment in how idea uh, and activities, alternative space, that has been important at the institution since the late 20th century, can be incorporated into public cultural policies. Alternative space and art space, that is neither an art museum nor an art gallery. Alternative space was born in America. It began to emerge in late 60s and 70s. The iconic example period are 80, 98 Green Street or Food by Goto Matikrak, uh, the Institute of Art and Urban Resources, Inc., which was later become PS1, was born in 1971. The alternative space became a place for artists to experiment with art, which would not necessarily fit in a category and framework of existing form and institutions, and which could not be named yet. In Japan, Sagacho Exhibit Space was established in 1983 as Japan's first non-profit alternative space. Wonderside was opened in 2001 in such a lineage. Tokyo Wonderside started with five missions. At the time, Japan was a situation where the public had to provide support. Uh, uh, sorry, I, I will go back. At the time, Japan was in a situation where the public had to provide support because of the bubble economy had burst the support of arts and culture by a private sector. Also, there are hardly any non-profit art space or opportunity for young artists to make presentation. The only venue was a rental gallery, where the young artists made presentation by renting space, which cost a lot of money, even though they are called the galleries. Under these circumstances, one of its hidden mission was to break down the rental gallery system and create an alternative space, not only for Wonderside, for many others. Mission one, uh, support the discovery, nurturing, and promotion of young artists from Tokyo. Young artists are rarely supported by commercial art market. However, the discovery and cultivation of young uh, or future masters uh, became a core of the art center and the cultural policies of Tokyo. This is because we believe that in order to build a society, it is important to able to have expectation for the future and that is equally important to convey it as a strong message that makes clear that the city will support them. Mission two, establish a platform in Tokyo to function as a hub of art in Asia and the world. Tokyo is a hub of Asia and the world, but the situation did not have a clear direction and plan for contributing to Asia and the world meaningfully with its own goal. The mission aimed to create a platform where the people from Asia and the world can gather, discuss, and work together. Situation in Asia has entered a new phase since 2000. Alternative spaces began to appear across Asia. This was a series of simultaneous events which was not born through the mutual communication or stimulation. Asian artists and curators who studied abroad returned to their home countries where only conservative museums exist, and they had to create their own venue to promote their activities. They started working as collective, renovate basement, warehouse, and created alternative spaces. This small activity became a hub of the network of contemporary art scene Europe and, uh, with Europe and the United States, and later became recognized as an important institution comparable to art museums. Then, Activity became very active, and the trend from alternative space to art center started in Asia. One side was to become an important hub of alternative activities in Asia. So mission three, support the various form of art and culture in Tokyo as a vehicle of cities' vital energy. 
Ensuring cultural diversity also ensures human rights. Needless to say, protection of the culture of ethnic minority is an issue of human rights. The cultural right is equivalent to human rights. It is important that art and culture should be based on rich, diverse imagination, not on like hobbies or decoration of an affluent economy. It is also important to clarify, uh, clearly express the philosophy of preserving and emphasizing the diversity of the arts and culture. Mission four. Function as a stage for experiments, research, concept, and trial of a strategic concept in a connection with the Tokyo Met of the government's cultural policy. Experimentation is the core of art practice. Blockbuster shows are not uh, the core. Experimentation should be secured and should be included into the policy. Wonderside organized and promote the experiment project and started experiment festivals, which many artists from all over the world apply to us. At the same time, Wonderside worked to create a platform for various stakeholders to gather and discuss cultural policies, including opportunity for the government, uh, government and artists to directly discuss cultural policies. Mission five. Uh, nurture human resources involved in culture-related work. Policies and actions, plans are important, but people are the important factor in implementing them. In addition to training artists, we also started activity to develop human resources, such as curator and administrators. Any mission cannot be achieved without people who can operate it skillfully with a vision. About five years of developing cultural policies centers by the Art Center, we finally started to tackle the ground design of cultural policies. It, takes, it took five years to start. I use the term design to describe three important points of promoting cultural policy. Process design, platform design, institution design. In order to develop into policy the theory based on the result of experience of numerous uh, pilot programs, we decided to create a platform where the people can discuss cultural policies officially and openly. This is because we believe that it is important to compile a proposal based on discussion by experts and stakeholders rather than top-down or closed-door plan as a process of policy making. In 2005, the conference to discuss the Tokyo cultural policies was established. With the participation of the key policy partner from local municipalities in Tokyo and the Mesan Association, this conference decided to begin discussion on the possibility of new policy of, for Tokyo without the blueprint. It was not advisory committee that Mary endorsed the government original plan. It created such an open discussion platform for policy making which tend to be determined uh, th uh, through an opera, uh, opaque process and propose the conclusion of discussion to the government as a policy proposal to originate a process for the reform. Final proposal by this conference addresses need for new institution and the way in which they should be created, uh, illustrating the importance, the design of processes, platform, and institution their linkage and the context. In the arena of administration, policies are often awarded as a medal for mayors or politicians. And in such a case, flower are always sought. In many cases, cut flower are brought uh, in instead of growing flowers. However, rather than bringing in cut flowers, it is the role of the public and the role of the platform to nurture the soil and to create an environment where the people can wait for flower to bloom. During the bubble economy in Japan, many foreign artists and musicians came to Japan, and the big theaters and big art museums were constructed, which many criticize as the wasteful spending later on. Arato Isozaki called them bulky garbage. After the collapse of bubble economy, there are no gorgeous bouquet of cut flowers and the huge bases for cut flowers were left empty without flowers. The emphasis on this process, in another word, uh, in 
is the, uh, on the creation of the soil. Cultivate the soil, water it, plant the seed, and nurture the buds. The word culture comes from cultivate. As the name implies, culture is about cultivate. At the same time, concept of collaboration is also an important factor in the process. This is particularly important for artistic and the culture project with foreign countries. This is uh, what is possible that such project will result in the diplomatic export and import of cultural goods. Thus, this is important to design a process to avoid this. During my tenure as a counselor of the Tokyo Met the government, I created the numbers of platforms beside Tokyo Wondersign. I started the Festival Tokyo. Festival Tokyo, uh, an international performing arts festival that has not been held in Tokyo before. Roppongi Art Night, a one night art event modeled in New Blanche in Paris and Talents Tokyo, a program to nurture young film talent in the collaboration with Berlin International Film Festival as a part of the program Berlinale Talents. These are still important international events and the pillar of Tokyo culture policy. In many cases, events are plants of flower, but it's very important to make it a platform rather than just an event. It is important to design such a platform where the people come together, collaborate, share, and grow. After the process, once the platform is built, the next stage is organize it into institution to make permanent and ongoing. An institution is a node and interface between individual and society. The nature of organization dictates its mission and direction. Innovative organization theory is needed, not conventional organization design. I could uh, establish two institutions, Tokyo Council for the Arts and Arts Council Tokyo as an organizer for policy making and executing programs. The Tokyo Council for the Arts was established based on a conference to discuss the Tokyo culture policy and it was established as an organization to officially draft and decide cultural policy by revising Tokyo uh, Metropolitan Ordinance for Promotion of Culture. The most unique aspect of this organization is that it goes beyond mere advisory committee, but also have an autonomous function of researching, making proposal on its issue, its need. Governors and bureaucrats with strong political power sometimes use the advisory panel as just an excuse. Most advisory committee cannot even make entirely voluntary proposal and their opinion are often ignored. However, the Tokyo Council for the Arts can research the issue with its own will, makes a proposal, present it to the governor, governor has to respect it. I could add it on the ordinance as a law and this is a remarkable step in Japan political system. The council established in December 2006 served as a brain of Tokyo cultural policies and it was a center for preparation of the candidate file for the bidding file of Olympic 2016 and 2020. It is necessary to have an organization that considers and decide the major direction of cultural policies and then op operationalize and develop them. We have reached the point where the Tokyo Council for the Arts was established, but the painting could not be completed until the next institution of implementation and evaluation is established. However, it is not easy for administration to let it go, as it always maintains its power by controlling budget money. The design of the new institution was challenging and took again more five years. The model of the institution of Arts Council in the UK, but its cultural environment and administrative system are different, so it would not function by just adapting itself. It was designed with the aim of becoming Japanese style Arts Council. Japan's first Arts Council was finally established. So adding to the, these points of the designing, I would like to add some more. International culture exchange is often cons uh, centered on a program with kind of sister city exchange. 
It is more like formal exchange through the introduction of traditional or cliche type of arts, rather entertainment. What is the purpose of international culture exchange? Nowadays, it is rather understood as cultural diplomacy. However, what should be done in a culture, international culture exchange? It is not simply promote the culture of one's own country or accept that another country. Moreover, policies often aim, to, uh, are aim at networking. Networking itself is not the goal of international culture exchange. In the field of art, aim of international culture exchange is to open up a new horizon by sharing understanding works and activities across national boundaries that can able, enable us to read our own culture differently or create new perspectives. It is important to connect the people beyond the organizational exchange. This sense of sharing will become possible, but through okay, medium, no longer term, uh, uh, medium to longer term collaboration, not just by one off event. At the same time, it also have to be a place of experimentation, not a place of mere attraction or promotion or pursue success. The secure place for international experiments, that's what international culture exchange need to accomplish. Policy making is important, but actual artists and creator are rarely involved. Unfortunately, even if they can involve, there are many cases that where its goals become simply to get funding for project that they have been working on. It is becoming increasingly important to create culture policy that involve artists rather than bureaucrats, curators, or administrators. Rather than being exploited by market trends or com uh, conversion of art into business, or not just drafting policies for artistic organization, it is important to discuss, formulate artistic culture policies as social policies. In particular, in the Asian region, it is desirable to realize culture policies that cooperate with neighboring cities and countries rather than close policy of promoting their own arts and culture. I hope this meeting of Arcade will be one of the catalysts. Based on the experience of the Wonder Science Tokyo Culture Policy and International Culture Exchange, I have become uh, involved in the management of a global art practice at Tokyo University of the Arts, an international program. Currently, I intended to recognize, uh, reorganize the program and strengthen cooperation with Asia in particular. Global Art Practices graduate program at the Tokyo University of the Art, Japan's oldest national arts university, which was founded around uh, 130 years ago and has begun to offer global arts education. Art is a new science. How can we link them with society? This presentation discussed this point with reference to development of cultural policies in Tokyo. Through the design of processes, platforms, and institutions, we need to create a platform to support new experimental initiatives. That's almost finished. Um, lastly, I want to add just one thing as kind of an epilogue. Post-truth, post-disaster, post-colonial, post-modern, post-human, when we talk about our time or its issue, the term post is often used to describe them. Here, in the rhetoric, we can find the zeitgeist of our present age. We define our own era as a transitional period from the previous era. As an era after the previous one, because we cannot see the next era. Contemporary time is so diverse and multi-layered that it's impossible to present single leading theory to define its own era, which may explain why it cannot be defined so clearly as an uh, era of such, but too many posts are being used. So why is the concept of prayer not in use? Is it impossible to recognize the present age as a pre or as a beginning of the next? 
Of course, chronological concept of the prayer is defined when the history defines the next era, and we call this prelude-like transitional period the prayer. But at the same time, as much as we live in the age of post, we are also in the age of prayer. Perhaps in order to open a new era, it is important to declare the era sensitively, also in a sense, arbitrary. That might be what artists in history have been doing and calling manifesto. In a prayer, what era are we living in trying to shape? Now, with a rapid advancement in artificial intelligence, AI itself is beginning to become autonomous as life itself, and we are asked to think about how human beings should be and how society should be headed with a real sense of urgency. Where are we going as we witness more progress in AI and technology as a sense of place became diminished my realization of the ubiquitous you know, a connection in a, by the internet. But paradoxically, we have began to think about the necessity and the meaning of being here. The human condition pursued by Arakawa and Gaines has resurfaced as an important issue. If thinking about this issue were more about re-examining the condition under which we were born and our uniqueness emerging. Then in order to think about the future, rather than thinking about post-human, it might be important to consider pre-human era immediately after Homo sapiens became human. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor Yusaku, for such um, insightful multidisciplinary multi work. Um, next. Um, it is my honor to present um, Professor Yan Wit Kun Jat Hong, Dean of the Faculty of Painting, Sculpture, and Graphic Arts, Silapakorn University, to present the certificate to our honorary speakers. I would like to invite uh, Professor Yusaku Imamura back, back for the certificate, presentation of the certificate. Thank you. Next, as, um, I would like to invite Associate Professor Dr. Raslan Abdul Rahim from Technology Mara. Next, I would like to invite Professor Julian Goddard from Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology. <laughs> Next, I would like to invite Mr. Sumatono, MA, PhD from Indonesia, Institute of the Arts. Next, I would like to invite Professor Pan Tan Bin from Wei University. <laughs> and I would like to um, invite Mr. Kamin Le Chai Prasad.
Thank you, Professor Yan Wit Kun Chai Tong and our speakers. Um, we will have we will uh, have 15 minute breaks where you can find refreshments and uh, some snacks outside. The the staff will escort you. Thank you, and then we will come back for the panel discussion. And also, like yesterday, the audience can make the evaluations yeah, on the evaluation boards. Yeah. And it's the interactive evaluation. You can put the sticker on the activities that you uh, prefer yeah, and want to comment and want to leave some comments. Samlap Nakrian Naksiksa, Lifukarumgan, Nakap Samat, Tamgan Praman Kitakap Ni, Dai, Nakap, Doi Tang Kana. นะฮะทางงานนี้มีบอร์ดอยู่ข้างหน้าให้พวกเราทําการประเมินได้โดยวิธีการอ่านแล้วก็แปะสติ๊กเกอร์ได้ใครอยากเขียนคอมเมนต
หว่างนี้นะคะจะขอประชาสัมพันธ์สำหรับช่วงบ่ายสำหรับท่านที่สนใจนะคะจะมีการนำเสนอผลงานทางวิชาการนะคะโดยนันทิยาณหนองคายประภากรสุคนธรรมนีบาสโกโรสุริโยบานินโรซาตริโอฮาริวิคาโซโนซูซื่อเวนเทราบารากโกซาอานอมวิบิโซโนและริวสเกะคิโดนะคะในที่ห้องภาพยนตร์นะคะคณะจิตกรรมปฏิมากรรมและภาพพิมพ์นะคะส่วนที่ในในช่วงในช่วงบ่ายนี้จะมีที่2จุดที่คณะจิตกรรมก็คือบริเวณห้องภาพยนตร์แล้วก็อีกที่หนึ่งก็คือห้องนิทรรศการชั้น2ที่คณะจิตกรรมเช่นเดียวกันจะมีการจัดแสดงผลงานผลลัพธ์จากการอบรมเชิงปฏิบัติการอย่างเมื่อวานที่เรามีการระบายผ้าบาติกหรือการวาดคอมิกต่างๆนี่คือจะมีไปนําจัดแสดงนะที่ห้องนิทรรศการชั้น2คณะจิตกรรมค่ะแล้วก็สําหรับที่ห้องนี้นะคะในช่วงบ่ายจะมีการนําเสนอผลงานทางวิชาการในสายดนตรีนะคะมีผู้นําเสนอทั้งหมด5ท่านมี clarinet voicing technique for a set of for a set of clarinet by Donald Martino นําเสนอโดยสุทธิรักษ์พวงสุวรรณและยศวณีสอน practicing the saxophone with l o o p pedal To improve voice leading, by p i s u t p a t i p Sena, and essential hand and arm movement technique for piano playing, by Atisan Ratana p o n and y o d w a n i s o n an approach to perform Ludwig van Beethoven's piano sonata number no. 23 in F minor for pedaling, by Tanat Tanawarawongsa, and dance to four LS. Music composition for dancer, string orchestra, and piano. โดยรัตนาพรพัทรัตน์นะคะสำหรับผู้ที่สนใจก็สามารถเลือกเข้าชมตามสถานที่ดังกล่าวได้เลยนะคะในตอนบ่ายค่ะเดี๋ยวเราจะนำเข้าสู่อีกเซสชันหนึ่งของวันนี้นะคะ Welcome back everyone. We will begin shortly, so please be seated. So um, we would like to begin with our panel discussion, uh, leading by our three keynote speakers uh, from this morning, Professor Pan Tan Bin, uh, Professor Yusaku Imamura. And Mr. Kamin Le Chai p r a s e d please welcome back the three keynote speakers from this morning. <laughs> Associate Professor Virawat s i l i w e s a m a t and Dr. w i c h a y a Mukdamani will be our moderators for the panel discussion. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Professor uh, Yusaku Imamura. Uh, Mr. Kamin Le Chai p r a s e d and Professor Pan Tan Bin for our panel discussion. Okay, thank you very much for uh, your contribution this this morning to our three keynotes, our uh, honorable three keynotes. There. <laughs> Professor Pan Tan Bin already also addressed about the history, yeah, historicals uh, in Vietnam, yeah, from prehistoric to to nowadays, and with the many of the artifacts, materials, yeah, until this nowadays, yeah, uh, with some villages that uh, continues there. Yeah. อาจารย์พี่คามินนะครับ yes he's well พี่คามินนี่เป็นศิลปินนะ he's dealing with the projects uh, participating with the project with the, uh, the other organizers and also create his own projects uh, 
uh, based on his own concepts. Yeah. Uh, Professor Imamura also address is very huge, very huge. Yeah. Tokyo Wonders. Yeah. Uh, we are very impressed yeah, with this kind of the collaboration with the platform, multi-platform, and dealing with the policies uh, and and social system that you mentioned. I think very impressed. Yeah. So in in the way we we from my perspective, I I see three talks kind of link from. Seems like Mr. Kamin is starting from one individual. Like you, you start your art from the body, from the human, and then from perspective of Mr. Professor Bin, it's enlarged into community, local community, and then for you, it's more like organizing all this community to enhance uh, art and culture. So it's starting from the one point and then starting to the policy-based structure. So it's quite. In the way, we, it, it can be related in some way, but it would be, like yeah. Research, project, policy. Uh, oh, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, basically yeah, research, yeah. project, it's and policy. Yes, yeah. yes. Exactly. I asked simple questions for Professor Pan Tan Bin first, and then uh, uh, <laughs> Dr. Vichaya can ask the other questions to, to keynote. Is there any contemporary, uh, how about the contemporary art in way? Yes. Uh, contemporary art in Hue, um, uh, about uh, 20 years ago, um, I, uh, we, we organized uh, the first festival. But uh, uh, now, uh, about um, five times, we organized uh, contemporary art in Hue. Uh, we uh, invite uh, many uh, artists from uh, in the world to go to Hue and uh, some same, same uh, China. China, Thailand, Laos, Cambodia, and, uh, and uh, some, some time uh, from uh, Europe. Okay, so, okay, okay. Uh. Thank you. In terms of the institutions, certainly they also have uh, this kind of activity that's created to create the platforms there of the art workshops there uh, in multinational uh, there. I think that, that will be continued, right, Professor Pan? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So my, my question would go to Mr. Kamin first, and yeah. because uh, we, we had discussion before that uh, sometimes you, you, you act, your, your artwork, your art practice, sometimes you act as a curator. You, you incorporate the role of curator in, into your practice, but you, you, you curate human, you curate the knowledge of the human. So I, I would like to, to ask you about how, how, how do you feel the relationship between your artist life, practicing artists, and sometimes you become a manager, a curator. So how, how are these roles incorporate each other, or how do they benefit your art practice in a way? So uh, I have to say I'm not a curator. And maybe uh, I just creative people. And I think uh, artists is a creative people, and we can do many things and we cannot do many things. So for me, to create thing is important more than to be artist or to be a curator. You can be just common people and then you can create something. So for me, I don't consider I create uh, curator, especially 31st century museum project. I don't cu curate. I try to be cooperate, yeah. and I try to point it out like uh, something that exists in everyone. So I try not to create anything. So we just create the platform that is a common ground of the community or, or meeting place. But when the work, we not, I try not to be a leader of the project because the Leo 31st century museum is our body, our own experience. So when you try to create or try to put it in the same what you want, that is chaotic start and then it's, it's, it's not the concept of 31st century museum idea. So my idea is not to create anything but to let it go and try to say, it's like uh, yesterday the the sound painting 
it's similar, but that is you have to have some uh, language to transform that sound. But my idea, uh, I believe everyone are creative and everyone have their own experience. That's, you cannot comparison what is better or worse or equal. Everyone are unique. So I try to let people have freedom to share their uniqueness. And 31st Century Museum is the platform of everyone to be themselves, to have self-aware of their own value as human being. And from that, you can see the whole system or another people at the same attitude of, of they have their own value, that they are unique. So the whole basic idea is just create the platform and no creative at all, not select or not Creative, anything. Not curate anything. Not, not curate anything. So, yeah. yeah. Um, I think um, profession uh, does not need to to limit the activity, right? Good. You know, if you are artist, artists should just work on the art. No. You know, curator has to work on just curation. No. In a profession, you know, doesn't you know ask you to followed your way but you know the kind of a, like a, everything you know anything like human being human activity can be started from you know from the self right and also like i mentioned like people really don't want to be suspended in the middle i am teacher or student actually i myself is still student right Sometimes. i'm a, everybody called the, like a, in japanese sensei I feel very uncomfortable, you know, than you know, teacher. But I'm not teaching anything, you know. I'm always like uh, having discussion with them. I'm still students, but people really wants to name it. But you know, for me, it doesn't mean anything. That's the creative attitude. So when you have creative attitude, everything is teaching you. Every moment you learn from everything. So I think the creative attitude is more important than what you are creative. The whole process of learning is more important than learning knowledge itself. So uh, the whole idea of my art project or my activity is try to create the platform of learning process together. And that is the most important. And then you're not uh, self-centric. But you always be a student and you always share and give your own experience at the same time. So I think nowadays, the modern idea or postmodern idea is we, we have too much information in the website, in the Google, in the everything. So the information is not about the knowledge. The knowledge is the process of learning and try to use this in everyday practice, and that is the real knowledge, the process of learning, so, yeah. From, from the slide, present, from the video and your presentation, it seems like you deal with a lot of conducting mindset of the participants, rather than controlling how they practice, but it's more like create the open space for the grown. But go, go to Mr. Imamura, slides as well I, I because you, you speak about the policy to the city of Tokyo can trying to grow trying to let art and culture grow through this collaboration of three uh, consuls or something that very big so how do you how are you deal because we, we, we speak a lot about you know knowledge grown by itself and art also grown by itself so with the policy from the government how how, how do you let the, this yeah. creative field grow in a very big scale. Yeah. Very simple. That's, you know, the policy is always uh, trying to make something, right? So then, uh, you know, I try to not try to not make anything, you know, kind of things. Like a, kind of like a very Asian, but like uh, making nothing, right? So kind of a free space. How can we secure to make the free space is very important. 
So not, of course, you know, uh, individuals or artists can start, but how society, you know, accept that idea and also kind of uh, like a governmental policy or like a city itself or town itself to admire that kind of space. This is very important. So, so make it continue, make it. Yeah, yeah, also should be sustainable, yeah. So education and a lot of. Yeah, also uh, kind of education like uh, Kamin said, uh, not to just a didactic, you know, the education but you know, sharing, uh, more like learning, and knowing, and also not just you know, uh, learning about information of the things, but you know, always like a story behind it, right? You know, the coming, you know, showing kind of a behind story. You know, there he's showing an object, but also that people read the, like a story, you know, contains, right? But you know, also the history, we should learn that kind of way, but always like in education, maybe school kids learns like, you know, the, the ear or like a name of the events, you know, can they write like correctly or something like that. But we should, you know, uh, uh, give opportunity more on knowing a learning kind of story behind. Okay, so I have some question to Professor Imamula, yes seems that each of us means institution or even countries uh, in terms of the art and design according to the societies and humanities uh, contributions. Seems that each of us will have a kind of platforms like a, what, what, what you saw, maybe festivals, events, art workshops, whatever. Yeah. How we can yeah, link these platforms among each other Yes, sometimes it seems to be easy. Sometimes even maybe difficult. Yeah. Do you have any idea? Because I think you maybe have more experience about the dealing with many kind of the activity internationally. Yeah, uh, as also same as as I mentioned, just kind of institutional platform is does not work, right? Like a kind of relationships, like you know, based on like a person to person, people to people is more important. Knowing each other, you know, sharing the ideas, also like uh, working together on, in a process. Not just like showing results each other, you know, collaborating and sharing. Even though of course there is a conflict, fight, you know, many things. But it's okay, that's a process, you know. Always like, you know, uh, not just focusing on uh, platform as a result. Always I think, uh, you know, uh, I rather focus on a process itself. Yep. Uh, go back to Mr. Kamin, maybe. Uh, I, I sat back there when, when, we, when you presented, and uh, my, my senior professor also talked to me. Is you, you play a lot of, your work sit on, a, I don't want to say Buddhist, but I, I, I would say Eastern mindset, sharing, uh, Love in the way that you, you mentioned is a little bit, do you see it as the Eastern philosophy or do you see it as a universal philosophy? And, and you, you've been to, put, you introduced 31st century in many countries around the world. I understand that there would be different perception from the audience in different countries. Maybe you want to share this relationship between the audience from different cultures toward this idea of LQ that you introduced. Yeah, I think, um, I cannot say exactly what it is because uh, it's slowly developing. I start from, uh, you know, like uh, my personal interest, like a problem or something, and then I try to understand step by step. So, of course, I'm uh, based on Buddhist uh, belief. And a lot of Buddhist philosophy is influenced me and uh, Buddhist practice. But at the end, when we really go deeply beyond the belief, you try to understand the real sort of the problem, you will find it's at human being. It's not, it's not, it's go beyond the belief or culture. 
you know, or religious. So when you really focus or try to understand self, at the end, we are at human being is beyond the culture-based knowledge. So from that, you can find love is universal. It's not about personal, like I love my wife. Is she cheating? I will hate her. You know, it, it, that is not love. That is about selfish or relationship of sex of, you know, something that you expecting from her. So something like this is uh, exists in every religious, uh, in Christian, in Hindu, in Muslim. Everyone talk about love. That's why they put in something that beyond symbolic can expand, like God. You know, like something that is bigger than your knowledge can expand, this guy. So for me, at the end, now, I can say now, I don't consider my work at Eton or Western or Buddhist. I think it's as human being, we will can reach the same soul, you know. We are happy, we are sad, we try to be peaceful, we want to be you know, not suffer. So this is the common ground of people. So, and for me, yeah, art or creative, I, I don't want to put what is art because it's become a narrow of uh, self, you know, because all sex, all science, like scientists, economic, politic, you know, all sex, you know, all science. So they are all creative. They have their own best knowledge of history, and then they try to go beyond their limited of knowledge of history. So all this kind of knowledge is creative. So and now art is branding. You know, it's not just for art history. It's for me, it's the old fashion of thinking about art at art set. So for me, it's a, the whole process of creative as human being for society or nature. That is the absolute of our new generation, we have no border between art, science, or economic, or politics. So, and I would like to call it creative. Whatever you try to move out from your own self-centric, your own nation, your own personal benefit, and to think or to aware of another, I think whatever you do, that is creative. Because you not try to, uh, you go beyond of self-centric. You go beyond of self-knowledge. So, and then you open your mind uh, to learn all the time. And, and for, me, for me, the whole process of learning or sharing itself is creative. And whatever you call, you are artist, scientist, or whatever, you know, that is creative of our generation. That's what I try to say. Thank you. May I add one thing? Yeah. Um, just briefly. I understand that what you're saying about like a Kamin's way is quite, you know, also everybody feels like kind of an influence of the Buddhism. But uh, maybe on the contrary, you know, I started thinking about you ask a question to the like a European artist. Is it reflect you or like a Christian way? Is it is a relevant question? That's kind of things we have to think about. We easily ask questions. Is like a, to the Asian or like a Eastern philosophy or like a Buddhism way. Is it relevant or like a, also the kind of PC you know political correctness issues that uh, you know I I started to think about. Sorry. Just, just add to the comment of Professor Imamula. Maybe we, we have a multi layers. Maybe sometimes we think about the geographical uh, situations, uh, the appearance uh, or religions based yeah, geographies or historical based. Yeah. However, nowadays there are more 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 in, well, tangible and intangible way that maybe pursued into a different uh, approach. Yes. I have a, another simple question to Professor Pan. Yeah. As an institution, yeah, do Way University have any projects or have any thing in, in the future? Yeah. Um, well, 
I don't like um, say to uh, about the future of my colleague <laughs> because uh, now uh, my colleague uh, very difficult and uh, um, now um, every uh, every year about uh, under uh, 100 uh, children go to my colleague uh, a little mm, uh, and uh, future um, uh, uh, little to uh, I know uh, not time my colleague uh, no no uh, is not name now and same same now uh, future my uh, uh, name my colleague um, Hue Zusti of art and tourists and, uh, and, uh, so and, and uh, yes. I have uh, um, uh, set freedom. Uh, in Vietnam, uh, I think uh, young, arti young artists and uh, young people don't like uh, traditional art. Mm. Mm. Uh, but uh, when I go to class, uh, talk about um, phone, uh, folk uh, painting, uh, a little student go to about five and ten students go to my class. But uh, talk about uh, modern art, uh, many, many students go to class. But in Thai, uh, I, I know, uh, uh, many students uh, go, uh, go to class uh, for uh, folk uh, dancing and uh, for uh, and traditional luck, Thai luck. And uh, uh, I, I, th I, I think in Thai, uh, better for Vietnam. Yeah. Actually, I don't think that it's better or, or not. Yeah. It's, I think it's maybe it's about the policies yeah, of, of maybe each country or each institutions. So the arts will be merging with the tourism, probably. Yes, uh, uh, according to the new name of the way you know cities. Yeah. Is that is something that dealing with policies? Yes. For for examples, yeah, Tokyo Wonder uh, or any project that that Professor Imaula doing. Is this is this any purpose for tourism? Tourism? Yes. Oh. Yeah, actually, you know, kind of a, you know, uh, kind of cultural economy is also one of the very big factor in a society, of course, you know. And, uh, but uh, not only for like focusing or aiming tourism, for example, like uh, one art festival, it's called uh, Seto Uchi, you know, uh, Triennial. But Setochi Triennial is like uh, held in uh, small islands, so the people to travel, you know, the naturally it's organized in a tiny island, and then revitalize the local city, so then a tourist comes and to visit all the, you know, the they don't uh, organize uh, like a special route, just like a local boat local ferry, they have to use it, a wait in a port, it's a, like a, as like a regular citizens. So, um, but um, they invite uh, many tourists, you know, just uh, because of the, like a high quality and a very important and also meaningful project, but in the nature and traveling around the, like a small islands, people comes, amazing numbers of the tourists is coming. So, um, Maybe um, if we are smart enough, maybe we can create that kind of like uh, maybe just focusing, you know, relevant project, but also at the same time, maybe invite the tourists to can join. And for these days, actually, you know, in Japan, so many tourists, you know, uh, Chinese tourists is coming, but uh, it's amazingly uh, many of Chinese tourists go to just local cities, local towns, not completely not touristic towns. They just enjoying blue sky, you know, rice fields, and very good, you know, the local food. That's it, you know. But nobody expected that, you know. <laughs> they, you know, most of the like a city government really prepare kind of well equipped, you know, hotels and the, like uh, routing English map. But they don't need that. <laughs> so then, uh, the most important thing is, is like a citizen 
enjoying the life itself. Then people come. I think it's like a social system it means that you can manage not just only the the what is it intangibles something or events or festival or art, but let audience I would say audience because if, if the artist make an art artwork there and it's someone to come to to interact to see it. and maybe not just the audience but they come in the form I don't want to use the word of the tourism but means from the audience that come from the different yeah place and experience it yeah. yeah. Any questions from the audience uh, to the speakers? We, we touched on many, many things uh, during this discussion and from the practice of three uh, speakers to some more deeper detail and then now we jump on onto how this art practice linking to tourists, to the touristic industry. Just, just propose the project. Coming, why don't you go to Hue, you know, <laughs> to organize the project, uh, 31st Century Museum in Hue. Then, yeah, then why don't you, you know, invite him to go into Hue to do to, to <laughs> Yeah. Next time. Next time. Next time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think uh, if you go to Hue uh, and uh, visit Hue, um, uh, uh, we and um, uh, maybe organize a small workshop in uh, my colleague and uh, and uh, a museum uh, of art in Hue. Maybe in Hue organize. Uh, uh, opening um, museum of fire art uh, one one year ago. Uh, and Maybe you know your project find out the uh, different value. Yeah. And uh, of course, you know, kind of hidden you. in a way, I guess. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Can I do some conclusions? The the topic that we are also open the discussion is even the in the point of view of the institutions, the yeah, artists that dealing with the projects, yeah, uh, with communities there. Yeah. And Professor Emmanuel as a, a policies or the project that dealing with is also tangible with the establishing humanities that we are dealing with some historical, some group of people and societies. Society may become in the form of the audience or even we call so, so called tourism there. Yeah but means make people come to know art. Yeah. Maybe not just the, the outcome of the art itself, yeah. but also let people know the cities or know the place that they are, they are moving on. So. And, yes. So uh, maybe you want to add something to end this panel discussion? Any? Uh, yeah. um, like a society, you know, like, establishing society, establishing you know, humanity. Actually, society and uh, our current society is like a government, public institution, too much kind of like a administration. We don't talk about the vision, you know, but sometimes vision is just kind of decoration, you know, but how can we connect administration and the vision, how can we connect these in two gaps? But this is, of course, by activity. But also, we need the not just in a conventional way, even like a politics, you know, uh, we don't need to stick with conventional way. We should use even like a conceiving society and also the way of administration with the imagination, like he said, like with the creativity. But we don't spend much time to thinking about kind of like uh, what I mentioned, like utopian things, you know. Uh, people always laugh when I say utopia. Of course, people are more like familiar with the dystopia, right? But 
why don't we think about like visions and also a new way of administration and how to connect this by our creativity and also the imagination. Okay, uh, I still have a last question to Professor Imara. Maybe not just the art project that you, you also deal, mm. you also de uh, a part of the design council, mm. right, World Design Council. Is there any difference between the artist and design and how design that means maybe more get into the people's mm. rather than, I don't know. Do you have any? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, very simply, like uh, always design is focusing on solution, yes. right? Yes. But an art is not focusing on solution. Yes. We always raise questions, yes. you know. Then uh, sometimes question is much more relevant, you know, than the, you know, the solution. But design is, but, you know, of course, like he always saying, like creativity. Creativity, we focus creativity, art and design always like are coming closer and closer. Okay. Thank Any, you very much. Anything you want to end this uh, panel? Actually, for me, uh, I almost talk everything already, but I think it's, uh, if I have to say shortly, I think it's a creative activity or to establish society or humanity, mm -hmm. we have to start from yourself to have living echo chamber to go out from your self-centric. From that, you can creative. Uh, whatever you do will be creative because it's not for yourself. So, and the whole concept of creative is to have no knowledge, to uh, not stuck with the knowledge in the past of what you, because the memory or knowledge is experience, is yourself. So to go beyond yourself, to go beyond your knowledge, that's to have no knowledge. And from that you can accept everything fresh and new. And that is the starting point, start from nothing. Thank you. Thank you. So, Thank you. Please give applause to all keynote speakers. And thank you very much for sharing. I think we get something out of the discussion. And hopefully we we continue this discussion afterward. After the Yes, we, we cleared platform and the platform <laughs> continues, right? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. ต่อไปก็เป็นรายการขอเชิญคีโนตแล้วก็ก็แขกขันข้าวใช่ไหมครับก็เป็นเวลาอาหารกลางวันแล้วครับขอเชิญครับผมนะครับช่วงเช้าก็ขอสิ้นสุดลงแต่เพียงเท่านี้นะคะแล้วก็ในช่วงบ่ายจะเป็นช่วงของ p a r a l l e เซสชั่นที่ตามที่ได้แจ้งไว้นะคะก็ผู้ที่สนใจสามารถไปยังสถานที่ต่างๆตามที่ได้แจ้งไว้ก่อนหน้านี้นะคะแล้วก็เดี๋ยวขอเชิญรับประทานอาหารที่ด้านนอกได้เลยนะคะแล้วก็ออยากจะรบกวนน้องๆนักศึกษาและผู้ที่ได้เข้าร่วมฟังใน,ในวันนี้นะคะช่วยรบกวนช่วยทำแบบประเมินนิดนึงแล้วก็เราจะมีสติกเกอร์ที่แจกให้อะค่ะสำหรับให้คะแนนกิจกรรมที่ท่านชื่นชอบตามความชื่นชอบได้เลยค่ะคือข้างหน้าจะมีเป็นฟีดแบ็กวอลสามารถนำสติกเกอร์ไปแปะเพื่อ,อชอบอันไหนก็แปะอันนั้นได้เลยนะคะค่ะขอเชิญรับประทานอาหารค่ะแล้วเดี๋ยวพบกันตอนช่วงบ่ายนะคะขอบคุณค่ะ